Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, it's gonna be a little bit different. I'm actually going to be comparing the two women's best collections, the power and the move. I am affiliated with women's best and the number one question that I get from my followers when they're trying to make a purchase is, what's the difference between the move and the power collection they don't know which one to go with so today i thought i would create a video for you guys or for anybody else out there who is curious what's what's the difference they look very very similar okay but there are some differences so coming at you today to just go into detail and break everything down so you can you know, decide which one you want. <laughs> and if you aren't already, please do consider subscribing because I do make new videos every single week. So we have the Power Collection and the Move Collection, all right? They do have more than just those collections, but those are their most popular. I will be trying these on for you guys so you can see. We have two colors from the Power Collection that I'm gonna be looking at here. We have the red and we have the new khaki color that they just came out with. For the Move Collection, we are going to be looking at this light pink marl right here, this set, and we're going to be also looking at the lilac marl, okay? Everything you see here is in a size small, and I'm five foot three for reference. I'll have all my measurements down below in the description box. So as far as similarities go, they do look very similar, okay? Because they are. <laughs> um, they are both high-waisted, and they are both seamless. They come up to the same height. The waistband is the same exact length, I believe four inch waistband on each. The long sleeves are also designed the same way with the thumb holes in them. They have the logo on the exact same spot in both the leggings and the sports bra. And the sports bras are both um, racer back. Okay, so that type of style. So now let's go into detail of what separates the two what unique features and what unique designs keep them separated okay so let's start with the leggings and then we'll move over to the sports bra first and foremost the power collection leggings are 44 dollars whereas the move collection is 49 dollars okay not a crazy difference but there's still a difference in price. So both collections, like I said before, have a ribbed waistband, but you'll see on the Power Collection that it's a lot thicker ribbed, whereas the Move are very, very thin, almost unnoticeable rib action going on, okay? A lot more subtle on the Move Collection. The Power Collection leggings also have significantly more contouring on them if that's something that you like okay you have under booty contour they're still subtle okay it's nothing crazy it blends right in um, with the color but it has a lot more um, movement I guess you can say a lot of different ribbed texture going down a lot of different contours a lot of different angles and it goes all the way down to the bottom so you have a lot of different types of contour going down these leggings. So, Power Collection definitely has a lot of movement going on as far as design goes. The Move Collection leggings don't have that at all, okay? They're just very smooth and solid, okay? You don't have a lot of contouring, so keep that in mind. If you're somebody who's kind of like, I just want simple leggings, smooth, solid, simple, smooth, solid, and simple, then um, the Move Collection you might like a little bit better. Let's talk actual material real quick. The Power Collection only has two materials. It is nylon and elastane. So, the Move Collection has nylon, elastane, and polyester in it. Not a noticeable difference at all. They actually feel super, super, super similar. Same thing as the leggings for the long sleeve top. Uh, there is a lot more ribbed going on, thick rib right here, and you got a lot more contouring. Again, this is just smooth and simple. So, let's move on to the sports bra. So, like I said before, they are both racer back. The move has a like almost like a keyhole look to the back of it, but the rest is just like a normal racer back. Thick straps, very durable. Comes with the normal um, insert padding. In case you were wondering, it is a white padding. The Power Collection Sports Bra is similar, okay? It starts off thick right here on the straps, but right where it would hit, right up here, it turns into like a strappy sports bra, okay? So it's definitely got like a little more of that like, woo, sexy type of strappiness going on, okay? So if you like that, if you like that like strappy look, Power Collection will give you that. 
And again, on the power, you got the thicker ribbed right here, whereas you have the very, very thin rib on the bottom of the Move collection. The power collection also has bra inserts, same exact thing, but they're black. Hmm. And as far as pricing goes on these babies, they are the exact same price, whereas the leggings, they varied slightly, so. So they're both squat proof, okay? They're both very, very durable, high quality. Material's awesome. They both fit very well. They're very flattering pieces. You really can't go wrong with either set. You know what I'm saying? They're both very, very similar, but those minor differences, they could honestly make or break it for somebody. To overall sum everything up, the Power Collection is just a little bit more detailed um, than the Move Collection, okay? Move just meant to move with your body. Whereas power is kind of just more aggressive. Both collections are awesome in my opinion. I love them both. If I were to go with one of them though, like if I had to choose which one, I would probably say the power collection maybe. The power collection to me is just a little more, it's got that ruggedness that I like, okay? A little bit. To me it feels more like gym type, you know, go and lift some weights, whereas the move um, is a little more delicate, okay? It kind of has that more like feminine and maybe, you know, do some stretching and yoga in it, but um, nevertheless, both can be used for either one, okay? All right, who am I, really? All right, guys, that was it. That was my comparison of the Women's Best Power versus Move Collection. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped some of you out there in a purchasing decision. So definitely comment down below if you have any other questions about anything that I showed you or if I happen to miss anything, just let me know, okay? And I'll get right back to you. And please don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.